These are my predictions for the 2023 American League Central. In fifth place, I have the Detroit Tigers, who really don't have much to play for this year. This is going to be about getting more experience for their younger players, such as Spencer Torkelson and Riley Green. With many holes in their starting lineup and no true ace, it's the seller for the Tigers. In fourth place, I have the Kansas City Royals. I like the one-two punch of Zach Greinke and Brady Singer, but beyond that, there's way too many question marks in the back end of their rotation. When it comes to their offense, I like Bobby Witt Jr., who will continue to get better. Look for him to have a 30-30 season. Vinny Pasquantino also is looking to build off his strong second half, and he is already off to a good start in spring training. Another interesting watch this season will be MJ Melendez, who will start off and left, but could also give Salvador Perez some much-needed time off during the season. Third in the division, I have the Twins. Even with the addition of Pablo Lopez, I still think their rotation ranks behind both the White Sox and the Guardians. Gallo, Kepler, and Kirloff will all benefit from the banning of the shift. If, and this is a big if, they get full seasons out of both Correa and Buxton, they have a great chance of winning the Central. The problem is Buxton has only played over 100 games once in his career, and there are already concerns about Correa's ankle. In second place, I have the White Sox. Until they prove they can stay healthy, I don't see them overtaking the Guardians. Their rotation is solid, but you need a bounce back year from Giolito, and you need full seasons from both Lynn and Kopech, who missed some time last year. I like what they did to address their hole at second base. I think Elvis Andrews will be solid defensively and offensively, and will be an improvement from Josh Harrison last year. They still have a hole in right, but this might soon be answered if Oscar Colas can win that position battle. In first place, I have the Guardians. They are putting out the same rotation they did last year. Both McKenzie and Bieber had sub-3 ERAs, and Quantrill was no slouch with 15 wins and a mid-3 ERA. Quan is an on-base machine and rarely strikes out, which is exactly what you want out of your leadoff hitter. The two big issues you had last season were designated hitter and catcher, and both of these things were addressed in the offseason with the additions of Mike Zunino and Josh Bell. It's the Guardians' division to lose at this point. Follow me for more baseball content.